All right, guys, welcome to the second channel. So today, what we're gonna do is we're going to kind of like a review, but also like a taste testing. So I've never tried the Circle water bottle before. The first time I try it, why not try every single flavor of pod that they make? Uh, there are 74 flavors, in case you were wondering. So I'm gonna try every single one of them and I'm going to rate them all from one to 10. So this is obviously probably gonna take a while. <laughs> so sit back and uh, enjoy. So the first flavor is gonna be Squeeze Lemonade, classic lemonade flavor. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, now you're supposed to be able to... Oh, okay. So you can turn the lid and adjust how much flavor you want. We'll just go straight to max. Lemonade. Crank that down a little bit. <clears throat> Crank that down to five. I feel like there's too much suction. Like, am I? Am I doing something wrong here? I feel like I need like an air hole. Yeah, how am I supposed to get air in there? I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to rate all of these flavors based on what they're supposed to be, not so much whether or not I like them, if that makes sense. So like this lemonade, I'm gonna rate it based on what it tastes like a good lemonade, not uh, whether I like it or not. And five is still, I think, a little bit too strong. Let's go down to about three. Okay, I think a four is about perfect. I think I'm gonna try all of these on a four. Lemonade. I'm gonna give lemonade. That is a very good lemonade. It's like it's not doesn't have like a chemical taste. It just tastes like a like a like the lemonade you would have as a kid. I'm gonna give that a 7.6. Next up, raspberry lemonade. That's actually kind of pleasant. <clears throat> this one's not, that one's not quite as strong. There's not much raspberry. Oh, wait a minute. Now it's starting to come through. You gotta kinda work it in a little bit. That actually does have a pretty good raspberry flavor. I'm gonna go 6.9. Now we go on to blueberry. I do like blueberry. I am gonna be, there's not many promises I can make in a video. One thing I can promise you is I'm going to be so hydrated after this because you got to take four or five drinks to kind of get it flowing. And I got 74 of these things to do. 8.1. I got I got to go 8.1. We're breaking into the eights. Orange lemonade. I'm already getting into the groove and not, not, even, not even paying attention to what I'm doing. Oh, that's actually, that's crazy good. I know it's supposed to be lemonade, but that kind of tastes like, almost like an orange Gatorade, kind of. I'm gonna give that a nine. That's good. Next up, we have watermelon lemonade. Now I love watermelon. So I imagine that I'm gonna like this a lot. That is such a good watermelon lemonade. I like how all of these all of these lemonades are this way. They have a, a, a real tart flavor. I personally like that. So it's kind of like a, it's not like a sweet watermelon. It's more of like a tart watermelon. And all of these are like I said, they're all like the flavor they are, but tart. That's good. Eight point three. Actually, I'm looking at my chart here, and I just realized I put orange at nine. That's better than orange. So I'm gonna go 9.2. Next we got pink lemonade. Who doesn't love pink lemonade? That's good. It tastes just like the pink lemonade that like mom used to make whenever I was a kid. I'm gonna be so hydrated by the end of this. 
We've only been through what? One, two, three, four, five, six. This bottle is 32 ounces. So 32 ounces of water for every six things. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do all this in one day. 7.5. The last of the lemonades, we have strawberry lemonade. Man, you gotta put so much water through these things to get them going. Man, where's the flavor? Let's crank it up to 10. There's the flavor. That's like half the water bottle. So, I've been trying all this on level four. The strawberry lemonade on level four is almost like nothing. Like, it literally just tastes like water. So I'm gonna go to level five. Still tastes like water. Go to level six. Level six tastes like level three on any, on any of the other ones. So now we'll go to level seven. So level eight on the strawberry lemonade is about as strong as maybe four on everything else. Um, that aside, where it's just pretty much like water with a the tiniest little hint of strawberry. Whereas like all these other ones were like good. So I'm gonna have to give the strawberry like a three or so, a three I think is fair. I'm also curious if maybe this strawberry, like maybe this specific pod that I got, maybe it's defective. Cause that is weird that it doesn't, um, that like it's not giving me the right amount. All right, now we're moving on to the teas. Hopefully I can make it through the teas and then I'm gonna have to take a break or something because I am <laughs> I am running out of space for water. Starting off with Pennsylvania tea and lemonade. I didn't even know Pennsylvania tea was a thing. The tea ones, well, I don't know if all of them are like this. This one gave me flavor right away. I didn't have to drink three quarters of a bottle to get some flavor out of it. Like the lemonades, especially the, the last lemonade. I don't know what Pennsylvania tea is. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It kind of just tastes like, like an Arnold Palmer, like tea and lemonade. It's a like very good mixture and it. The tea tastes like genuine tea. The lemonade tastes good. For a tea and lemonade, I'm gonna give this 7.2. Next up, we got peach tea. This one too, instantly gave me flavor. So there's something different about the teas. That's a really good peach tea. The peach has a good flavor. The tea is very nice. I think whatever formulation they're using for their tea, I think they really got it right. 8.3. Raspberry tea. You know, I'm not really a fan of raspberries. The raspberry in this tea Tasted way better than that raspberry that was in that lemonade. It's good. 7.8. Now just a just a classic. Just classic old sweet tea. No, on a four, it's a little weak. You know? It start it started off really good. I think it leaves just a little bit to be desired. I'm gonna go 5.6. Because it's, it tastes like tea. Obviously, you can taste the tea. I just feel like there's a something, something a little bit off about it. Next up, we got California green tea. I mean, I'm not really a fan of green tea that much. 6.8. Now we're going on to the coffee flavors. Thankfully, we only have four of those to try. Oh, that's a strong, strong smell right out of the package. I'm gonna crank up the flavor. Yeah, that's, uh, let's, I'm, I'm literally just gonna go all the way. Yeah, 
even cranked up all the way, it's not much coffee. Vanilla iced coffee. What it really tastes like, there's not almost no coffee flavor. It's in there, but it's like very slight. What I taste is more of like a very watered down, sugary vanilla flavor. Not so much coffee. So that's like a 2.3. Next, mocha iced coffee. Hopefully this is good. Oh no, don't tell me it's the same thing. Oh god. I don't I don't know how to describe this. It doesn't taste like it doesn't take like taste like mocha iced coffee. The flavor of coffee being covered up by water or something, if that makes sense. It's like it's like it's just you can tell it's like like watered down or there's like just water mixed with it, which obviously you're mixing water with it, but it's it's not that great. So I, I gave that other one a 2.3. I'll this one's a little bit better, so maybe like a 2.8. Classic iced coffee. This is the same same problem as the other two. It just doesn't really taste like coffee. It just tastes like a, I mean, it just tastes like a synthetic, it doesn't taste like coffee, it just tastes like synthetic coffee or something, which it's probably what it is. I'll go 2.5. I think, yeah, 2.5. Next up, we got caramelized coffee. I mean, it's still, still not quite it. Uh, it's better. It is better than the other ones. I'll give it a 3.1. All right. So now we are moving on to the fission line of uh, sips. First one is lemon lime. It says it has adapted. All of these are supposed to have adaptogens, BCAAs, caffeine, and antioxidants. And the website says that it is premium body fuel packed with energy for the risk taker in you. Uh, this first flavor is lemon lime. That's actually pretty good. That's It's kind of tart. Kind of reminds me of yellow Gatorade. 6.8. Oh, this flavor, it's lemon lime, but the name of the flavor is called E.T. This next one is called Send It, and it is Fruit Punch. Wow. Now see, I'd, I'm not really a Fruit Punch guy. I don't really like Fruit Punch, but I have to rate these on, on what they taste like, not what I like. That is right on. I mean, spot on Fruit Punch. So that's going to be... 8.4. Next, we got Jackpot, and it is green apple. I like that. That is a very good green apple. You can taste the apple. It's sour. It's not just a green apple. It's like a more like a sour green apple, but it's really good. It's very I guess like balanced. Like there's nothing that's really overpowering about it. 7.6. Next we got, we got Florida Man and it is an orange citrus. Wow. All these other ones I've taken I've been on a level four. I'm gonna go down to a level two. See? I think this is where we're gonna run into some problems. Some of these are like, like this regulator or whatever, it just doesn't, just doesn't really, really work right. Cause like most of these you can be on a level four and it's, and it's the right amount. But something like this comes along, this orange, it's just so overpowering. A level two tastes like just water Yeah, a level two straight water. A level three. Is a little bit overpowering. So like maybe like a two and a half. 
I mean, it, you can taste the orange. It's just so strong and so overpowering. It's got to be like a 4.3. I think it's ironic that the Florida man is overpowering. That's kind of funny. Next up, we got Nocturnal. This is a berry blend. I don't know what kind of berries those are. That's rough. That's like a, like a 1.8. And last but not least, we have Blue Magic, which is a blue raspberry. That's actually a very nice blue raspberry. 8.7. So now we're going to transition into the flight uh, section of the pods. The flight ones are supposed to have four times the electrolytes compared to other sports drinks. So I'm assuming they're supposed to be, you know, kind of like a, a sports drink replacement. 80 milligrams of sodium. I'm assuming that's the electrolytes we're talking about. So we're starting off with strawberry watermelon. It actually smells pretty good, to be honest. I'm gonna go up to like a seven. Holy crap. Super salty. Which I know, obviously it says electrolytes and sodium. But what I'm confused about, I need to do some math. So here's what was confusing me. So it's very salty, right? But it says there's only 80 milligrams of sodium. So whenever you look at the package, it's 80 milligrams of sodium per serving, but there's 13 servings per cartridge, which comes out to uh, 1,040 milligrams of sodium per cartridge, which breaks down to 200, 275 milligrams of sodium per 32 ounce bottle. So what, what I was confused about is Usually, like I've drank before, you know, if I'm going to be, you know, sweating a lot or whatever, I'll uh, drink uh, liquid IV sometimes. In liquid IV, there is a thousand milligrams of sodium in one of these packets, but this tastes just as salty as liquid IV does. But if the number, if the math is correct, it should have a quarter of the sodium per bottle. So that doesn't really make that much sense. Gonna be like really strong now and then kind of like taper off severely or something. It's kind of weak, honestly. I can taste the strawberry and the watermelon. It's almost like the strawberry and the watermelon was kind of like an afterthought. The main thing that I taste is saltiness. And then whenever you try to crank it up to maybe get more flavor, you really just get more salt. Like the, the ratio of salt to flavor kind of increase together. So no matter how strong you go, you're always gonna get far more salt than you will flavor. So that's gotta be, I mean, 1.8. Let's move on to, this one is orange otherwise known as overtime. Huh. It's still salty, but there's enough of the orange in there that it complements the saltiness actually pretty nicely. It kind of feels like a 50-50 like a mix. So it's still, you're still getting your electrolytes. It's still a little bit of saltiness, but I think it goes pretty well together. So I'm gonna go 5.7. 
Next up, we got Shutout, otherwise known as Great. Now that's good. The grape is good. You can still, you, this one with the grape, this is the first one where the grape flavor kind of overpowers the saltiness. So the saltiness is still a little bit there, but it's more in the background. And what you're really getting is grape. I like that a lot better. I think, I feel like that's a lot better of a mix. That actually legitimately tastes like 275 milligrams of sodium per 32 ounce bottle. Unlike the other ones, which tasted like it was way more sodium than that. Yeah, that's... It, it, and honestly, kind of tastes like Gatorade, to be honest. 8.4. What we got next? Gold Line. That's another one that's just, the predominant flavor is just salt. I can, there's a, there's a little, little touch of uh, a lemon and a lime in there, but I feel like the, the ratio of flavor to salt is just off. It's a little bit better than the other ones that were that, the, a little bit better than the other ones that were also too salty. 2.2? Next, we got Lights Out, which is supposed to be a blackberry. That one, I feel like, is a very healthy mix. That's a good mix of flavor and salt, and the flavor is actually pretty good. I would give that, like, a 7.6. Next, we got Fast Break. This is supposed to be strawberry banana. Now, I love strawberry banana. So, let's hope that they didn't overdo it with the salt. Man, how do you... How do you screw up strawberry banana? I don't know how to put this in the words. First off, the, the flavor to salt ratio... There's way more flavor than there is salt, so that part's good. I taste, it's obviously tastes like banana, but it's not like a good banana. If you took a bite of the banana peel, maybe, like that type of flavor. It's not like a good banana flavor. So that's gonna be uh, like a 2.4. Next, we got Last Drive, which is a blue raspberry. That's good. <clears throat> that's a good flavor, and that's a good mixture of flavor to saltiness. 8.6. Next we got Overtime, which is orange. Didn't I already do Overtime? Red Zone. Not, and instead of Red Zone, I got two Overtimes. I guess we won't know what the Red Zone tastes like. So now we'll move on to the Pure Essence section. Which, it, Pure Essence is supposed to be uh, just natural flavors with no artificial sweeteners, nothing added, no nothing. Our first one is Cucumber. Otherwise known as Raw Pickles. Cool. Here's what sucks. I have to rate these based on what they're supposed to taste like, not whether or not I like them. I hate that flavor. That is disgusting to me. It does taste just like a cucumber. Like, it does, it tastes like you're biting into a cucumber. So, for that reason, I have to give it a... Like an 8.5. But me, personally, you would never catch me dead drinking that. That is rough. Next is peach. I have a feeling that they probably got these flavors really good on this, this pure essence. That tastes like peach, but it's kind of like a, like, it's, it's peach, but it's like a 
genetically modified peach. Like there's, it's like a peach, that the, but there's just like something off with it. And it's kind of like a, like a chemical peach almost. Um, 3.1. Next we have apple, just plain old apple. Kind of the same thing. It's kind of it's an apple, but it's kind of like a like a chemical apple. Um, what I, I gave peach three point one. It's probably a little better at maybe a three point five. It's crazy that the cucumber has been rated the highest so far, and it didn't have any of that chemical flavor at all. Next, we'll go pear. Oh, Ugh. like you're drinking like a, maybe if you're drinking a, like a pear air freshener or something, that's like a, like a 0.8. No, we'll go one. We'll go one. All right, next is supposed to be raspberry, but I'm going to go ahead and, and bump pineapple up next just because I want to taste something good. <laughs> Please don't mess up pineapple. Pineapple's a little better. It's not great though. I give it a 4.2. Oh, next up we got raspberry. The raspberry's not that bad. I'll go 6.2. Lemon, just a plain lemon. The lemon actually seems pretty decent. The lemon's good. The lemon is very good. I'll give it an 8.6 because I feel like it tastes the most, well, I haven't tried the tangerine yet, but so far it tastes the most like the actual fruit itself. Like the, the lemon honestly tastes like you just like cut up a lemon and put lemons in the water. It's a really, really good lemon. So we'll go 8.6. Next up we got some tangerine. The tangerine has a, it, it, I mean, it has a pretty good tangerine flavor, but it's, kind of like a tangerine flavor with a with a touch of a chemical flavor so I'm gonna go 5.4 now we're gonna move on to the life sip category and it says that the life sips are enriched with B vitamins so I think these are just supposed to be kind of like a everyday sip we're gonna start with my favorite watermelon That's good. That is a, that is a very very good watermelon flavor. It kind of tastes like a like a watermelon Kool Aid or something. Oh man, that's good. They really, I think these life sips. These might be. I think all of these might end up being really good if they're all as good as that watermelon. That's a nine point one. Next up, we got raspberry lemonade. Man, I think these life sip flavors, I think these are all going to be good. Because that's also good. Perfect flavor. I feel like it's a perfect mix of raspberry and lemonade. 50-50 mix. They did a good job on that one. I'm going to give that 8.8. .8. Blueberry Cranberry. I personally don't really like that flavor. I'm gonna give it an eight because it's 
it is a good mix of blueberry and cranberry. I feel like there's a little bit more cranberry than blueberry. If it was more of a 50-50 mix, I feel like I could give it a higher score. Next up, we have coconut pineapple. Now, this is going to be an interesting one for me because I uh, love pineapple, hate coconut. You know what? You know what that tastes like? That honestly, to me, kind of tastes like a pina colada. Even though I hate coconut, I do like pina coladas. For some reason, that the mixture of the pineapple and the coconut go together perfectly, and it's actually really good. Wow, that one actually that that one that one actually kind of shocked me. Eight point seven mango grapefruit. Another one that. I bet it's going to be pretty good. No. It tastes like chemicals. Like, too, it's like a very chemical-y flavor. That's like a... That's like a 3.7. Look at here. Berry pomegranate. I've never had pomegranate before. Fun fact, I'm sure it's probably going to shock a lot of people. So like I said, I've never had a pomegranate before, so I don't know what pomegranate is supposed to taste like. I'm assuming that that is a decent pomegranate flavor, because it, it doesn't really have a chemical taste to it or anything, and it's just kind of, I don't know, it tastes like something. Pomegranates. So I'm gonna go 7.5. Next is just classic lemonade. I wonder how it's gonna taste compared to those lemonades. That's a good lemonade. That's a that's a really good lemonade. 8.8. .8. I didn't even. This is peach mango. Getting too into the zone here. That one, I'm gonna have to give it a low score, a lower score. It's not bad. It's it's just that it's supposed to be a peach mango. But what it really is, is pretty much like 80% peach with just a little tiny touch of mango. So if it was more of a 50-50 mix, I could probably give it a higher score. But I might have to give it like a 3.6. Strawberry Kiwi. I hope. I hope this tastes like the Capri Suns that I had as a kid. It's not quite like a Capri Sun, but it's really good. 8.4. Strawberry Lemonade. Hmm. I'm not getting much strawberry. I'm just kind of getting a lot of lemonade. So, 6.5. Fruit Punch. That's a really good fruit punch. That's good. That, that is a 9.2. This one, sweet tea with lemon. That's actually, that's actually really good. Like really good. That tastes almost like, like, a, like an Arizona sweet tea with lemon is like about what that tastes like. 8.4. Now we have the Go Sips, which are supposed to be um, a caffeinated kick when you're running on empty. So, I assume they're going to be kind of like these, but with caffeine. I didn't even tell you what flavor this is supposed to be. 
This is supposed to be green apple on a four, which is what I've pretty much been testing everything on. It's a little weak. That's good. What that tastes like, it tastes like you just, like, just freshly bit, bit into a Granny Smith apple. Fre like a fresh, juicy apple. It doesn't have no chemical taste, no weird aftertaste. That one tastes so good. That's going to be a 9.2. Next up, we got strawberry watermelon. Another good one. Now, the strawberry flavor on this one, I can't remember which one it was. I think it was one of these where it's supposed to be strawberry something, and it wasn't, like, the strawberry wasn't really there, and it was very, very weak. This strawberry is very good, and it mixes with the watermelon very well. And it almost, it literally almost tastes kind of like, almost like a Capri Sun. I gotta go, like, 9.4. Next, we got blackberry. That's a really, really good blackberry flavor. 8.6. Next, we have just orange. Oh, that tastes kind of like, kind of like Gatorade. We've really picked up some speed here. We started off... You know, not, not so great, especially around, like, the coffee section. And then these have progressively gotten better and better. 8.9. Now we got Cherry Limeade. Fun fact, I hate cherries. Yeah, I don't really like that. Because, I, like I said, I hate cherries. But for a cherry flavor... It is a really good cherry flavor. I will give it that. I've tasted other cherry flavored stuff before that was like gross and chemically. This, that's a good cherry flavor. So I'm going to go 7.8. This is Citrus Twist. We got limes and lemons and oranges. It kind of tastes like a, uh, kind of like lemonade-y. 8.4. Grape. Just a classic old grape. This one has a strong grape flavor right out of the package. That's a pretty good grape flavor. That honestly kind of tastes like, uh, it reminds me if you've ever had grape flavored Propel water. It's very, very similar to that. 8.9. Uh, black cherry. I mean, it tastes cherry, but it's kind of like, <clears throat> kind of weak. Honestly, I feel like that's a pretty good, I feel like that's a pretty good cherry flavor. 7.7. 7. Now we move on to the Fit Sips, which are supposed to, it says active on it. They have 55 milligrams of sodium. So the other one had 80, whichever... I don't even remember. So this has less than that, so maybe it'll have a good mixture of flavor and salt. This one is supposed to be mixed berry. That's actually not bad. That's a pretty good mix of like a berry flavor and uh, there's a little bit of saltiness, but it's kind of kind of like uh, on the back end, you can say. So it's actually pretty nice. Um, let's go 7.7. .7. This one's supposed to be orange tangerine. Pretty good orange flavor. A little too salty. Like the salty to flavor ratio is a little off. I'll go 6.4. Next we got a white cherry. So we hit one of these with black cherry, now we got white cherry, and then there's another one that was regular cherry. I'm not one for cherry flavors. That's not half bad. And the cherry to salt ratio is pretty good. 
7.2. Next we got Tropical Blast. It's got oranges, bananas, limes, peaches. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. It literally just feels like a mixture of everything. And it feels like, it kind of feels like whenever you're a kid and you go to like Taco Bell or something and you get like one of all the drinks and you think it's going to be good and then you drink it and you're like, oh, that's not that great. That's kind of what it feels like. It's just like a mixture of everything that ends up like not that great. 2.7. The last one of the Fit Sips, Lemon Lime. Way too much, way too much salt. Not enough flavor. 1.6. Now our next four are the Stage Hydration Electrolyte Formula. Oh, these say that they contain 1,010 milligrams of sodium, one serving per container. Serving size is one cartridge. So there's 1,000 milligrams of sodium per cartridge. First flavor is orange. Oh, I know it says that it's a thousand milligrams of sodium. I don't know what kind of sodium they're using because this is saltier than any electrolyte drink I've ever had in my life. Oh, and that's on a level four. Let's go down to two. Two just tastes like water. Three just tastes like salt. And four just tastes like salt. <laughs> I honestly don't taste any flavor. I only taste salt. I guess I, I guess they forgot to put the orange in there or something because that that is nothing but salt. Okay. 1.2. Next we got lemon lime. Salt. It's just it's just salt with a the tiniest tinge of a lemon. What did I, what did I give the last 1.2? 1.4? Because there's a little flavor? Strawberry watermelon? salt. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, maybe like a, a three. There's like just no, there's no flavor in these. I'll give this a 1.42 just because there's a tiny little hint mixed in with the salt. This one is Blackberry Twist. I'm gonna go ahead and take a guess that this is probably not gonna be Blackberry Twist, it's probably gonna be Salt Twist. Yeah. It's salty twist. I'll go in the middle because it's got a little less flavor than the last two. 1.3. The electrolyte flavors, I feel like need some help. <laughs> they, need, they need more flavor. So now we're going to go on to the Verda flavors. They are all flavored with uh, stevia. Uh, so some people don't like that. I personally like the way that stevia tastes. It tastes something good after all that salt. So let's go, let's start off with watermelon. That's not what I imagined. What I imagined was basically, whichever one of this, I imagined this water, the, uh, I think these were the Life Sips. The Life Sip watermelon flavor is what I expected with a little taste of stevia. But that's not what this is. This is more like extremely watered down watermelon with like a synthetic type of taste. Doesn't... I feel like they could have done a better like formulation on this watermelon. 2.4. This one is grapefruit. It tastes... I don't know how to describe it other than like thick. It's almost like the, the flavor puts like a thick layer of something in your mouth. And it doesn't taste very grapefruity. 2.1. Here we go. Cucumber lime. Like that thick light, like that thick feeling of like a, like some type of like super concentration weird feeling. 2.3. Strawberry.
Man, it's just like, it's gotta be a thing with like, I can't imagine the Stevia is doing it because I've had plenty of things with Stevia in it before and I didn't get this like, I don't know, there's like this weird, like this feeling. <sighs> I mean, it's got a strawberry flavor, but with that like thick feeling, it's just not great. It's a little better than the other ones. Maybe like a 2.5. Next we got Clementine. This one's actually not too offensive. Still got that feeling, not quite as bad. Flavor's a little better, 4.3. And last, but not least, lemon. I don't understand what went wrong here. Because, okay, for one, this lemon, I'll give it a two. I don't understand what went wrong with like these flavors because this lemon is a two, but there was other lemon, there was other things that were lemon. The pure essence lemon, I rated an 8.6. That was a good lemon. So they obviously know how to do a lemon flavor. The Life Sip Lemonade was an 8.8. .8. Like there's other lemon flavors that are good, but this one's bad. So I'm kind of confused because they clearly know how to do a lemon flavor. They know how to do these other flavors that are bad and make them good, so why aren't these good? I'm honestly glad that's over. I am very, very hydrated. <laughs> if you're thinking about trying the Circle water bottle, I would 1000% recommend getting your, at least your first flavors, pick them from the Life Sip category. Those flavors are by far the best, they taste the best, they taste the truest to what they're supposed to be. Pick a flavor from there. If you like things that are really tart, you can go with the lemonades. Those weren't bad. They were just kind of tart. I would stay away. I would completely stay away from the coffees and I would completely stay away from any of the hydration blends. The salt to flavor ratio is just way off. It's not that bad. I kind of, I, I kind of like the bottle. I like the, the whole idea. I like that whenever you switch out a cartridge, you get like a new uh, spout. So it's, you don't have to clean anything. You just swap it out. If you're trying for the first time, Pick from the life sip category. Those ones are the best. Or uh, the teas. I forgot, the, I think the teas were pretty good. Yeah, I gave all the teas pretty good ratings. That's it. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.